We've been talking about public speaking and how it affects various aspects of our everyday life. And today, we want to look at something that is quite important, really, because a lot of people don't really um, reckon with it. And of course, as usual, to address this particular topic um, is John Sanaya. Thanks very much for joining me again. Thank you. And um, as you know, John is an executive speech skills coach. So, John, uh, let's look at performance skills from the things that we have said um, and from what I've observed anyway over a period of time. It's clear to me that most people don't understand that public speaking or speaking in public um, is actually something that involves performance. Why is it that they haven't quite grasped that it is a performance skill? Public speaking, we've said it a few times in the past, that is an act. It is an act. It is an act. Okay. So an act will demand performance. Quite. And when you talk about performance, you then talk about your style. Mm -hmm. When you talk about your style, you start to look at the authentic you. Mm. What sets you apart from the mm. others? Mm -hmm. What is your persona? You know, you have to develop some style. Yeah. We're looking at personal skills mm -hmm. that will set you apart from the others, that will make you recognizable, mm -hmm. that will give you, an, give you an ID, you know. You said that um, uh, it is an act, and an act is tantamount to performance. Yes. But an art, to my thinking, yes. is also tantamount to performance. Yes, the, uh, an, an art is uh, the skill to do whatever. Okay. You know, the act is the ownership, is the, I, the ID, in, if there's anything yes, like that. Yes, okay, the, the, identity <laughs> the identity that we're, that we're, talking, that we're about. talking about. Yes. It's the authentic you hmm. that we're referring to. So yes, uh, yes, there's the art, which is the skill mm. or the talent, or from the talent to the skill, like I said, some time back. Yes. You know, and now, you know, we're, we're looking at how do you separate yourself from the gang? There are people who feel that certain popular speakers exaggerate their, um, their gestures. You know, um, there are times when I have been asked, uh, when you have a, um, a popular pastor, for instance, and some of them engage in what I'm about to say, and they, they, they are moving from place to place, they are, they're hardly do they stand still. Um, what would you say about that style of performance in speaking? It's an act. It's an act. <laughs> <laughs> Is, are you sure that it is not to enable them to engage oh, yes. with, it's a with deliberate every, act. every it's, part it's, of it's the a, congregation? It's a, it's a deliberate act. Something that will make them memorable. Something that will make their messages sink. So we have different styles that we apply. Mm -hmm. For them, or for some of them, the force with which they express themselves mm -hmm. matters a lot. You know, it makes them more memorable, it makes them more believable, mm -hmm. makes them more acceptable, you know. But mind you, not all of them adopt that, that style. style. You're so right. you use us, you, you, you employ, uh, you uh, employ performance that works for, for you. For you. Have we had situations where people have made terrible mistakes? Because you want to perform, you take on a particular, maybe, attitude or you take on a particular uh, habit, yes. if you like, um, that is actually not you at mm. all, mm. Um, but, but then you feel that you must make your mark somehow. Yeah, yeah I, I, I see where you're going. And uh, the bottom line there is that you're not being truthful to yourself. Okay. You're not telling yourself the truth. You have to know yourself. You have to know your abilities. If you're one who cannot tell jokes. Don't bother. Don't. 
<laughs> it's, as it's as simple as, as that. that. Yes. I, I can't go on stage now and attempt to sing. I only sing in my bathroom. Where nobody will hear Where you. Nobody... <laughs> <laughs> so the, the truth is, you have to discover yourself. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Even your weaknesses can be converted to strengths. Mm, mm, okay? Mm. That is where you need a coach. Because we're working mindsets here. He already has a skill set. Okay. We're working on mindset. Mindset. All right. Okay, so mm. there are various sets mm. <laughs> that a coach would work on. Mm. A coach will get into your mindset, into your brain, and make you believe that what you're doing is working for you and mm. get it to work for, for you, you even better. Mindset, skill set, tool set. I, I think I like that. Mindset, skill set, and tool set. Yes. Mm, that certainly makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> the three sets. The three sets. Great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.